episode 318 of the 8-Bit Geek. Welcome to the hottest morning, midday, and drive home show on the planet. <laughs> I'm your host for this epic quest, Hot Hot Charles. I go back into the B-Boy stance. I got more dimes dropping than the national anthem. You want content? We got it. Games, check. Movies, double check. Cool dudes who are no fools. Mega check. So plant your headphones deep up in that skull, because we're about to get... How do you do we're that? about to water those mines. <laughs> With me today are two men who need no introduction. So let's move on. <laughs> Just kidding. Put down the pitchfork. Uh, I'm Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Doug shows no room. I'm Kevin. <laughs> Everything. He gives you gold, and you're just like, fuck it, I'm Doug. <laughs> I, thought th I thought maybe... I thought maybe you guys would put on your uh, morning show voices as well. <laughs> I was really yipped out by that, but I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hey, I'm Kevin. It's Kevin doing the weather in the helicopter, the trailercopter 2000. Uh huh. And uh, people are people are going to work. A lot of them. Traffic uh -huh. sucks. It's going to take you like 30 minutes to go from Dallas to Dallas. <laughs> I'm Kevin, and I'm your weatherman. Thanks, Kevin! <laughs> Let's go over to sports with Doug. <laughs> All right, here we are. Sports with Doug. Talk about the things that happen. <laughs> so that team did a thing. Scored some points. Watch this clip. It was epic. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then a, a clip real shows some Duncan. Some Duncan from the Houston Rockets. Tim uh, Duncan? Uh, and, from the Spurs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he retired. I don't oh, know. Yeah, like, I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! By the way, in post, I want you to add some helicopter effects, please. Thanks, Dare. <laughs> no, you already did that with your. <laughs> no, that was just a placeholder. It's fine. Oh, it's That's bad. not going to make the final edit. No one will ever hear that. <laughs> oh, they're live. <laughs> Everyone's gonna oh. hear that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh my goodness. Um so listen. Mm -hmm. okay. Kev, Kev uh was out of town this whole this whole week. Well half of it, right? Mm hmm What'd you do? I went to go visit my dad for his seventy fifth oh. birthday. I am so glad that you said that because believe it or not. We were actually able to get him on the line. Oh, lovely. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Mostly just because he's right behind you. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, Kevin. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Dude? It's me, your dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> your dad? <laughs> Got sassy since the last time I saw you. Hello, hello, Mr. Clem. I'm now 75. I can do what I want. <laughs> you sound like you sound like the dude out uh, of the troll from Labyrinth. He's my rightful property. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rude thing to say to your father, Kev. Sorry, Dad, but you guys do have the same nose. <laughs> yeah. We sure. Well, that was my gig when you were a kid. That's why I was never home. Oh. <laughs> Long days filming on the set of The Labyrinth. The Labyrinth. <laughs> Is that not what it's called? I think it was just Labyrinth. Nah, The Labyrinth. The... Is this okay. the conversations you guys have together? Pretty much. I mean, this is this is pretty much what I went on went all weekend. Uh, I do have a quick question, uh, Mr. Clem. Why did you let that dog uh, use your head like that in the photos that uh, your son posted? That's just where Charlie sits. <laughs> but his balls were on your head. The dude's got to sit where the dude's got to sit. He doesn't have balls anymore. He's got penis. Oh, yeah. I mean, so the penis was on his head. I mean, probably if it was okay. If it was but do you know how yeah dog dicks work, Jeremy? <laughs> well, there's no way that it was in. What? Too, too sexy of a man, sir. Sorry, Dad. I'll let you take this one. <laughs> well, thank you. Yep, we had a lot of fun doing things for my seventy fifth birthday. 
<laughs> well, what did you guys end up doing? Well, Kevin decided he wanted to go on a road trip. So we went to Owensboro, Kentucky. <laughs> what? Wait. I mean, yeah. What'd you do in Kentucky? Did you... Oh, oh, I know what you did. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I know what you did. Uh, you guys went out to a really nice restaurant that's been highly rated. Sure. Uh, then, and then you went out to maybe like a bar and like uh, somewhere that's pop. He took you to a, a nice show, maybe John Mayer or something. Um, and like <laughs> he took you around town to show you all the great stuff and just reminisce. And uh, I mean, I mean, that's what you would do on a road trip, right? Nope. <laughs> oh, we kind of did all those things in one stop. Oh. We went to a strip club. <laughs> that is that is true. Damn, oh. Dad, why blow up my spot? Because we both got caught. <laughs> yeah, we just uh, you know, went down to Kentucky and saw some of them, you know, Kentucky bitches. <laughs> oh. What, what you, Dad? You like the long bottom uh, girls? What's going on? Long bottom Neville. <laughs> Well, you know, the Kentucky Derby was just like two weeks ago or whatever. That's true. So it was kind of like the Kentucky Derby of strippers. <laughs> There's a lot right. of big hats. I don't know. <laughs> oh. uh, maybe you're going to say that you went to the Kentucky Derby just to look at the at the dirt. No. Nah. What? That's, bo- that's boring. Okay, well, you're 75. I was, yeah, I ain't got much time left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to live an excited life. Truth. It's a strip club. What's your type of girl? Thick. Go. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 that seems accurate. Three C's. Khaleesi? No, just three C's. Thick. Thick with three, oh, three C's. With three C's. <laughs> <laughs> Jer, Jer's, you killed Jer. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to Walmart. Oh man, it seems like a real father son type of day. Yep. Why wouldn't you go to Walmart in your town? Uh there's no uh oh. There isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh, so how long how far of a drive is it? Well, I mean we went to Owensboro, so I don't know, it was like a three hour drive. Go to Walmart? No, no, no. I, mean, I go to Walmarts that are closer to home, but there was one right next door to the strip club. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So it's I was funny. like, we, 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 you know, we stayed all night. We got the breakfast buffet, and then we walked uh, across the parking lot to the Walmart. We hit up the ATM because I needed some more money back for the strip club. And then I was like, hey, while we're here, let's get my groceries. <laughs> what do you sound like? Get my groceries. <laughs> Charlie needs some dog food. Charlie was with us. You know what? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I I, I don't I go Walmart anywhere Walmart. without Charlie. I wish I wish Walmart would bring back their boneless barbecue um, wings because man, those were so good. This is the only thing I really liked from them. You know, Mister Clem from from Walmart. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't get food at Walmart. Oh, I get like, that from the strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> he goes during the buffet hours. It's really it's too big to win. It's so cheap to eat there, and then you get a show. But don't you spend a lot of money on the show? I mean, you know, some singles. It's Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's Owensboro. It ain't expensive. Kev, can you confirm? I have to look up there if there's an actual Owensboro, Kentucky. Uh, yeah, no, it's cheap out there. It's dirt cheap. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. So the strip club is? Oh, yeah, and he's retired. He's got that retirement money. So. He hit you up with it? Did he buy you lap handles? Oh, Dad, did you? Duh. <laughs> I, I, bought one, I bought one for him. I bought two for me. And I bought six for Charlie. <laughs> They really revolved around Charlie. I don't know how they let him in the club. <laughs> I told him it was my emotional support dog. <laughs> we had we got kicked out because he started humping a stripper's leg. Me, not shot. the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say, but yeah. 
Well, Mr. Clem, did you get a birthday cake or what did your son get you for your birthday? <laughs> so, sorry, I had a really bad answer. I'm going to answer with that anyways. <laughs> I got pink eye! <laughs> for your gift! What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Way to catch up. <laughs> I had to think about it, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> and he got me a cake. Cake, cake, cake. That neither of us can eat. Why? Because we're both diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guys. That's right. true. <laughs> uh, so, well, I'm so, the diabetic so, one. He is not. So he Char- doesn't like cake. So Charlie ate it. Char- no! Charlie did not eat the cake! <laughs> Charlie's dead. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Mr. Clem, I want to thank you for coming on the show and giving us a, giving us a heads up <laughs> on what happened. No problem! Over that crazy weekend. I hope, that, I hope you have a great day. I'm sure I will. I'll be watching you. From, from back here. Bye, Gov. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bye, yeah. Dad. Where Thanks you for that this weekend. Thanks, Mr. Clem. Bye. Hope the pink eye clears up soon. Me too. So get more bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So, did you guys see that uh, Avengers is about to cross the the Avatar threshold and beat them out? It should happen this week. Good. Nice. Can we be there to celebrate? Can we? Is there a website that's like tracking it, like the you? Know, yeah, you could go to uh, you could go to Box Office Mojo, and watch it there. Oh, look at that! That's the real thing. I thought you were just gonna troll me and link me to some like you're like yeah, lemon lemonparty dot org. Just go there. No, that's a that's a up to the minute um, uh, stats on Box Office and stuff. That's so, amazing. What was it that's called? Really cool. Box Office Mojo. Yeah, it's widely used in the industry. Wow, they're at two point four right now almost 2.5 billion because it it had a 53 percent drop this week Mm -hmm. which is pretty huge uh and it made 63 million this week so they still have to make like 400 million to pass it does it include or is this theatrical release only or do they include like it's theatrical oh okay because i'm wondering like if avatar made a lot of money on when they sold dvds and blu-rays well it just made a lot of money because it was in the theater for a fucking year Yeah. yeah Well, that's cool though. If Avengers could do this within a, within a month, that's badass. Yeah, mm-hmm. it would also be really funny if, at like n- October, November, Marvel was like, "Hey, for two weeks only, in game <laughs> again, yeah. and, and do extended. the same, yeah, and do the same fucking shit that Avatar did." I would love it for them to go back in and be like, "Hey guys, we added bloopers. Uh, we added additional content. Uh, it's now." Three and a half hours, so make sure you come out and see the new added content. Yeah. That would push everyone to go back to see that movie. I'd go, yeah. yeah, I would see it again if there's added I, content. Of course. I've already seen it twice, by the way. Have you guys, you guys have only seen it once each, right? I mean, I was going to go see it again. I saw it once in theaters. No, I'm not saying that in any kind of bad way. I was just, so no, Debbie no. didn't get to see it. So we got, we went to see it again, uh, actually before I left. I think it was like Wednesday night. Uh, we went to go see it. And yeah, right, I mean, time. yeah, the second time around, I didn't. I, obviously, I didn't sob as much. Uh, There's still scenes. There were still scenes that got me there. But yeah, I mean, I I love I, I love that movie. But yeah, coming to watch it a second time, it kind of makes me. I think Infinity War was the better action movie, and then Endgame was the better like kind of just storyline wrap up, you know, situation. Mm-hmm. But like the action in Infinity War, and even the comedy in Infinity War. Because it was obviously a lot light, more lighthearted than Endgame was. So, man, some of this shit is really weird. Seeing some of the um... y'all sound like robots. Can we change? Uh, hey, region? you want me to change region? Oh, yeah, that always sound fine to me. Um, I was just saying, just looking, still looking at this box office mojo. Just how some of the just they have the the showdowns and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like it's weird to me that like uh, Star Wars looks like the Force Awakens in seventeen days made seven hundred forty two million. And Avengers is at 723. Oh, yeah. I was just like, damn. Mm-hmm. I thought, yeah, because remember that The Force Awakens was an unbelievably huge opening. Yeah, it's like, just crazy I mean, to me. 
Yeah, it is. And that was only two years ago, was it? Or was it three years ago? It was 2015. So. Oh, okay, so, man, four years ago, shit. Mm-hmm. Can you guys believe that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out the same year as Captain uh, America 2, X-Men Days of Future Past, and Guardians of the Galaxy? Jesus. Oh. I and once again, I'm I'm in the minority, but I loved Amazing Spider-Man too. Mm. Yep. <laughs> You're like, yep, yep, you are the minority. <laughs> we always talk about this. Yep. And yep. people always just like, I think, yeah, there's like one person that agrees with me on that. So. Well, I have John Mayer. You have Amazing Spider-Man too. Yeah. Yep. And, and Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> you, your oh, words, God. not mine. I, I, I've always I've always said it. And I've why do you think? Bringing them up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're all secretly juggalos. I don't know. I've, underneath these masks that I have on the wall are all juggalo masks. <laughs> no, underneath the mask, it's all face paint that's stuck to the helmet because you <laughs> apply the clown makeup and then put the mask on. <laughs> True story. Pokemon uh, came out this week. Did you guys go see that? No. Oh, not yet. I didn't see anything. I want to uh, see it. I do. It's same. Same. I do want to see it. I don't think that I'm going to make it to it because John Wick comes out and then another movie comes out and then another. But like, doesn't Colin want to see this? Isn't he like just hard up for Pokemon still? Uh, He is. He wants to go see it. I Um, heard opening weekend they had like uh, exclusive Pokemon cards for people who went. And you got like special yeah, cards. Yeah, you got special, a special. Pokemon. So that, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't like beg you to go to the theater. I know, night or but anything. right now he's so like into Star Wars. Everything Star Wars right now, mm. and so he's he he's been kind of like, uh, kind of avoiding it. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Ashley and I went to go see the Hustle. Um, okay, hey, real quick, if he's really into Star Wars, this is really great Star Wars podcast. He should listen to. <laughs> it's it's um, he he actually likes uh, story driven content. That he'll love the show, but he's gonna hate Mark and Obi. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna listen to that and be like, oh, I know that voice. <laughs> it's like that bad impression my dad does." Jared's looking for something to break in the room that's not valuable. <laughs> is it what? What can I snap right now? Oh, oh, into the show. <laughs> oh, he brought his own theme. <laughs> is that his entrance uh, into the ring? We're about to about to brawl here. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, the the hustle was bad. I have not even heard of it, so yeah, yeah it must have been. It was bad. We I I thought that maybe maybe you know the problem is it it's the one with Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson, and they're both like con oh, artists. Oh, I have not heard of this, but I've I've seen them on talk shows together. So yeah. I sense. um I keep wanting to give Rebel Wilson a chance, and uh, maybe this is just uh, my opinion. She is not a very good actress and not a very good comedian. And I just do not enjoy her on screen. Every time, yeah. every movie that she's in, I'm like, okay, this is going to be the one. Mm-hmm. Ugh, and I just cannot get past her. Like she just does. She's not very charming. She was all right. She was okay in this, in the singing movies. Oh, just, uh, uh, I was a glee. Uh, pitch. Pitch perfect. Uh, pitch perfect. Pitch perfect. Yeah, because uh, they kind of toned her down, right? But um, they try to make her out to be the, um, you know, the successor to Chris Farley, and she does all this physical comedy and stuff. But it's just mm-hmm. it doesn't come off funny. I just don't like her, and I wish I did. I'm sorry, Rebel Wilson. I didn't mean to break your heart. I know you listen to the show. Oh, well, yeah. she still has me. I like you, Rebel Wilson. I don't know why I'm pointing at the camera. She's in. The, she's in the Twitch stream. You like her. Yeah, I like Rebel Wilson. And like it's a Pitch Perfect, you're right. Pitch Perfect, she does uh, her best work. I also, uh, if you ever watch the show Workaholics, she has a funny cameo in that. And once again, they meet her at the Gathering of the Juggalos, and she was wearing Juggalo makeup. <laughs> but it was a really funny episode where they... they the okay, battle. Kevin, you're biased. It all goes back. <laughs> what are the... Because she's a juggalette. Of, yeah. What are the six degrees of separation for ICP? And Kevin will find it. There's yeah, there's none. <laughs> oh boy, they got uh, they've got the Star Wars Land opening up this this month at Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Nice, and they've announced that there's a four hour time limit that mm-hmm. you can spend in the park because they're trying to hustle so many people through. Yep, mm-hmm. yeah. makes sense. I I guess you know 
it makes sense that you'd have to get through it and people deserve to to see it there's only one ride that's open at the time of this uh, soft opening because it's a soft open from um, may to june and june okay. 23rd is when it officially opens but they also sold out of tickets like in an hour these the ticket prices were ridiculous to get in and Makes then sense. you're going to be like mm, you're there four hours that's all you get i guess i would be happy with that time to be the first to see it mm -hmm. but at the same time i'd feel kind of gypped well, I think, I mean, who knows how much content, maybe there's not even four hours worth of content to go there. I mean, it's think of it like going to a small con, you know, you can only be there for so long before Bob, you get bored yourself. That's what Bob Iger said. He said that you will, four hours is more than enough time to get through and see everything and to uh, yeah. wait in line for the ride. Uh, Cause they're expecting the ride to take one to two hours to get on. And get Jesus. <clears throat> Do they offer like the fast pass stuff to that too, or no? I'm probably not time, for this, probably. But now, yeah. right now, no, because everyone's going to want to ride. Because you get to ride in the Millennium Falcon, like who? Yeah, who wants to turn that down? Yeah, you're going to remember that time we did, <laughs> and somehow we didn't break anything. <laughs> um, that's what I, I, I guess... would want to walk through the Millennium Falcon. Like that's what I'd be most excited for. Like I'll wait an hour in line to walk to walk through that giant one that you we've, that you've yeah. constantly seen in the photos and stuff. Where it's like, okay, that's life size. That's dope as fuck. Mm -hmm. Take me on a guided tour through there, please. You can play like that holographic chess while you're waiting. <laughs> See, that's I feel, I feel like that's I hope that that's where the line takes you. I hope that it puts you through the Millennium Falcon, so you can actually do stuff like that to 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 make the queue go faster. I mean, they did kind of stuff like that with the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, where they had it was kind of interactive and stuff, and they did some fun stuff that you can look at and touch, but. I hope that I hope that they're smarter about their line cues, kind of like when Doug was and I were talking a few uh, episodes back about um, Orlando. The um, what's it called? Jimmy Fallon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, Marvel has uh, announced that they're going to have their first openly gay superhero character. <laughs> coming soon. I saw a tweet in response to this, and it was, "Yeah, we all saw Carol Danvers here." That's yeah. That's what I was like. It's gonna be. I thought it was Captain Marvel to begin with. I thought she is, but I don't know the backstory. So yeah, and I guess they're also talking that it might. It looks like it's gonna be uh, what's her face, um, uh, 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 Valkyrie. Oh uh, really? That I guess that she's bisexual, and I guess that they had included something in the Thor Ragnarok movie that got I cut. That. Mm -hmm. Um. So who knows? But yeah, again, like Carol Danvers in the comics is gay and like married i believe in one of the iterations i don't know if it's like consistent gotcha. throughout but um like yeah again I, that tweet just made me laugh because it was like duh like we all saw her haircut in endgame <laughs> like yeah but it's awesome i mean oh man i love valkyrie too i'm so so excited to see what comes of like her character in the what's, next what's she supposed to get a movie uh no I don't think so, but no, I take it. They'll still play a part to things. I mean, without I don't once again don't spoil anything, but no, we're past the spoiling. Yeah, yet, but... uh, in fact, the spoiler like ban like what has been lifted by the Russo brothers themselves. Mm -hmm. We're allowed to spoil the fuck out of this movie now. Oh, okay, all right. If Dude, you haven't seen, yeah, which is to say, if you haven't seen it yet, but we'll say we'll still say spoilers yeah. before we spoil it because we respect like, spoilers. Blah blah dies. <laughs> blah blah. Blah blah blah. It's blah blah guys. Oh no. Peace. Blah blah blah. Oh my gosh. Blah blah blah. Let's see. Kevin and I are making a joke here, a reference to Arrested Development. Oh, I thought that we were talking about the time when I said blah blah blah, blah in the car, and then we did that for the whole weekend. Oh, well, we did uh, herp to derpy for the rest of the week. Herp to derpy. Yeah. Herp Um, my bad. You can continue, guys. <laughs> continue. I'll be so, what's your favorite episode, uh, Doug, of Arrest Development? Oh fuck, um, all of them. There's so, bees. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's money in the banana stand. No touching. <laughs> hey, I watched that episode. <laughs> so, much, so much good shit, man. <sighs> so quotable. Fuck. Rocco's Modern Life mm -hmm. and Invader Zim. TV movies are headed to Netflix. Hell yeah. At least for Invader Zim. 
Oh, you didn't like Rocco's Modern Life? No, I love Rocco's. I just never watched it. I love Rocco's Modern Life, but I, yeah, I've never watched I it, absolutely adore Invader Zim. Mm -hmm. Like I, I've never watched Invader Zim. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it mm -hmm. is. It. Um, if you want to see a show that defined my youth and where all this fucking crazy dark bullshit comes from, it started <laughs> with Invader Zim. Yeah. I saw that cartoon, it broke my mind. But in a good way. But like it it for a kid's show, it is surprisingly dark. It is surprisingly it is. gross. <laughs> not like gross not like Ren and Stimpy gross levels of gross, where like, mm -hmm. you know, they would do the close up of like a butt or something, you know, you're like, Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. Kowalski's back. Yeah, 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 hair. yeah oh. the hair and like the like the, the, the band aid, you know, it was really gross. Not like that. Yeah. But there is an episode where uh Zim uh is I think they're doing like a physical test or something in the gym class, and he's like, "Oh God, they're gonna find out I'm an alien." Like I, they're gonna like try to, they're gonna take like my um, like heart rate or something. And I, it's not gonna be there because I'm not a human. I don't have like a normal human heart. So he starts e eating, eating quote unquote the like body like organs of students. Oh my God! And like. <laughs> He becomes like this job of the hut like blob of like just because he's just stuffed himself full of like their organs, but, mm -hmm. but he replaces the organs with like just dumb shit like just stuff like mm -hmm. one kid literally takes like a, his lungs or whatever, and the, the kid's sitting there with like uh you know one of those like old fashioned like heat uh standalone like heating units you know mm -hmm. like those. You like roll into your room and plug in. Like the, I don't know how to explain this. But yeah, there's like little, uh, space heater. Little space heater. Yeah, it's like that's his like torso. It was like out to this yeah. like because it's got a space heater inside of him instead. But when he mm -hmm. talks, you can see the organs back in his mouth. Like he's like, hey, hey everybody. He's like oh. it's, it's so fucking gross. It's so good. I re I recommend it. Like go get it and watch it and put on your plex or whatever. And I hope that they maybe move them to. With the movie, also bring the three seasons. All the series, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Gur was great. Oh my god, Gur, dude, I loved Gur. And then the episode where like Gur ate a, ate, he like got a pizza on Zim's face or something like that, and they gave him a pimple, mm -hmm. and the pimple got so big that it became a second <laughs> Zim. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's so it's so funny. <sighs> So fucked up. I love Nickelodeon was really fucking out there, man. Well, yeah. Well, the problem is that they gave. Jonan Vasquez, the creator of Invader Zim, the problem is they gave him a fucking TV show. Yeah. Like if you Johnny the Homicidal Maniac yes, creator. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> if you've ever read any of his comics, like if you if so this came out in like the like mid nineties, late nineties and stuff, these mm -hmm. comic books, and they're just they're so dark. They're so fucked yeah. up. Again, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, and then there was a uh, a spinoff called like uh, Squee uh what was that kid's name? It was the kid, the neighbor. Like Squeam? Squee? 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 Or it not like a, Bone, right? No, there was another one. No. It was Squee. Squee was like okay. the kid next door. And they're just dark and fucked up. And yeah, so if you read those and you heard like, oh, Nickelodeon just gave Jonah Vasquez a TV show, you would be concerned because it's yeah. some dark, fucked up shit. Yeah. And so it's it's incredible that they gave him a show. And it was a, for a kid's show. I mean, it it is kid level, but it is still like, I can't believe they got away with this. Mm -hmm. But it's good stuff. I love it. I love it. My, probably my favorite cartoon series ever. Nice. Uh, while, we were, while we were doing all this, by the way, Link B has resubscribed for three months. Yeah. And, and he says, why do I give you money? Oh, yeah, because you're dope and you do dope shit. <laughs> Make it Thanks. six months, then I'll say congrats. Oh, <laughs> no, Link. Link. Thank you. I love you. There's that. Love you, Link. Um, Batwoman is coming to the C dub. They officially have ordered the series. It's coming soon. It'll be a mainstay. <sighs> I really <laughs> love this announcement, but at the same time, I just wish it was Batman. Yeah. I'm it. This is going to, I hope, I hope that this is going to be really good too. Yeah. Well, hopefully if it is really good, then it'll inspire them to they won't they won't do a batman no they, they will keep batman for the big C, cw won't get it for sure i would like mm -hmm. to see like the dc universe or DC. whatever mm -hmm. i would love to see them get it overall. they barely put batman on on the screen for uh, on the tv shows that they had so like you know the end of uh what was it what was that for, uh, series the first one on titan, titans titans 
the for Titans, you just saw like his back or his shadows or whatever. Not, mm-hmm. you know, it wasn't like a full fledged. Yeah, but they've cast him. They've cast Batman for a season two. Have they? Yeah, it's it's e, it's Ian Glenn or whatever. It's the guy that plays uh, Jorah Mormont on Game of Thrones. He was playing uh, old oh, man, yeah, old man Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be Bruce Wayne. I don't know if we'll actually get to see full fledged Batman all the time. That's fair. Um, and then, uh, and then, of course, on the on Gotham, you got to see Batman in the shadows and like doing a couple things. But it was just to tease his future. Um, they, they they generally just reserve him for the big screen, which doesn't make sense yeah. to me because like they'll throw fucking Superman on everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah any sense. <laughs> Oh, we, hey, saw, we uh, saw two supermans while we were at <laughs> fan expo dallas <clears throat> they had new superman from small girl small girl small, small girl super girl Who's that girl she's small <laughs> that was a mix between smallville and super girl just oh. combined to make small girl <laughs> <laughs> but we saw well we saw tom welling from smallville from yeah. from Superville, so we saw Tyler Tyler Hawk, Hawk, Hawk Tyler Perry, whatever his name is, from Small Girl, <laughs> to Tom Welling from Superville. God damn it! And that is the title today. <laughs> Superville. Superville. Right, makes sense. <laughs> hey, so anybody got some Adams ready? Oh, did Bethesda make another boo boo? <laughs> oh, Bethesda made a big boo boo. God damn it, Bethesda! Oh yeah, they had a uh, pen and paper Elder Scrolls adventure, uh, and uh, that was going all right until they completely, uh, you know, plagiarized Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> so I they mean... pulled. They pulled. They pulled text. Oh, they, okay. they straight lifted text from the 20, uh, 2016 D&D adventure and it was a, a whole paragraph uh, for example it says uh, through various means it is arranged that you meet Azam the cabinet from large It they, they copy and pasted it like so, even the character names? yep oh god damn it god damn it. who is doing this? who is developing for them? I don't know. It's like they just outsource. Yeah, and, and then no one. Here's and then the no product one, they get, which is crazy to me because companies like this should have a whole department of people checking for this shit. Like yeah. literally, that is like their companies have stuff like this where it's a. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forget exactly the title of the position, but yeah, it's like it's your people that make sure that the copyright isn't that there, you know, stuff like that isn't happening. Well, you would think that a team lead would also be like, all right, here's our story. Here's our Canon. Uh, who's writing all this and that let's review it. Like you have people who check this shit and like, like Doug said, it's gotta be just a couple people working on this project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My guess is they went like, let's, let's do this. And then they were like, Hey, you guys do this. And they're like, cool. We'll, we'll get it done. And then it was like, okay, here's your advance on, on getting this done. Cool, cool, cool. We'll get it to you in you know two months, and then it's like, hey, two months later, hey, where's that at? Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. And then they threw something together and turned it in, and then it went like straight route without anybody doing any sort of revisions or checks. Mm. I gar- I bet you that's what happened. Oh, money oh, yeah. on money on it. So. If you've been affected by this, please send your emails to CEO Bro at Bethesda dot com. I wish there. that was his email. Five hundred atoms. <laughs> yeah, so they've canned the tabletop Elder Scrolls RPG. Goodbye, Elder Trolls. <laughs> now this is kind of disturbing. So you know when you're making a game, you do research and all that shit. Well, MK11, the developers watched Hangings. On YouTube for research, and um, there's been some PTSD diagnosis, you know, <laughs> coming from therapy, saying that I had extreme graphic dreams, very violent. Kind of wanted to stop going to sleep. I'd stay awake for days at a time. You'd walk around the office, and the one guy watching uh, hangings on YouTube, the other guy would be looking at pictures of murder victims. Someone else would be watching a video of a cl- of a cow being slaughtered. 
Like, what the fuck? But why? <laughs> like, at what point do you need that stuff to uh, to create the, the kills and stuff in this game? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like you're, you're already working on Mortal Kombat, so you've already done this stuff for, like, the older other games. So it's not like... I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I don't... I'm just trying to imagine... The people that worked, let's say just Game of Thrones this last weekend was super fucking violent. I had some super fucking violent moments. When mm-hmm. they were like, oh man, when so-and-so or this extra or whomever, you know, oh, this guy got cleaved like in half and you see like it's really gross. Like, I, d- I doubt they went and watched videos of people getting cleaved in half. Like, they're probably like, that would just be fucking sick. Or the fact that you have like the Walking Dead creators and stuff that do like, what's the grossest fucking thing we could do with zombies this season? And they just that do we it. can get away with. Yeah, yeah, and like, but like, I, I doubt they're looking at like, pictures of real bloated corpses they're probably just like cool we've done zombies before we're just gonna do this my point being like we've done this before why do i need to why do i need to research into real life gruesome things when like when it's all for yeah but it's all for it's it's all fantasy you know what i mean like the fact Mm -hmm. that someone can punch someone so hard that they punch their heart out through their back like i don't I don't need to see someone who's gotten their heart blown out by a shotgun you know what i mean like i don't need like i don't understand the I feel Why? like, and it's funny because the things you guys described in, or the things that they described in this article, like the different things they were watching, that all sounds like the the stuff that was in the the eighties and nineties uh, cult classics, if you will, uh, Faces of Death. I think the first Faces of Death they had like cattle mutilation, they had hangings, they had um, they had all kinds of like just very violent deaths, including people getting sawed in half and stuff like that. And it was real video. They had they used to show them in the theater, and they said, you know, if you could sit through the whole showing, you get a certificate, you know, stuff like that. But I feel like they were just watching that. I don't think that. But either way, it's you. You're working on Mortal Kombat. You should know better. You should know what you're getting into. If you feel like you're going too far with Mortal Kombat, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. But you don't, I don't at think you need to. For the genre, but or I don't, at least for that game. But I don't think you need to look into real source stuff to to no. achieve the like desired effect. You know what I mean? Like you said earlier, you need fantasy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you have you have spirits going inside of a body and ripping it in two. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not gonna find videos like that online. Well, no, and but like, yeah, oh, like, I mean, what yeah. what's what's the point? What's what's by That's looking at like a murder scene, what what are you planning on gain from that? Like, and same thing with hangings. Like, what's the? Do you need to get into that headspace? Because just go watch Invader Zim. Just kidding. I haven't seen one hanging in 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 the Mortal Kombat game, like no. in Mortal Kombat Eleven so far in the fatalities. No, no. But I haven't fatal- seen all the fatalities but, yet. But all, in the crypt, there's a whole bunch of people hanging. Oh, are they? I yeah. I never. I just Hold I down with a spear. <laughs> really? I yeah. didn't get that far in the crypt. I guess you I got to revisit. A heart with for it. So, oh, well, there yeah, you go. I just even, when you walk by the main area, there's a dude going up there going. Ah, ah. I was wondering what I thought that was just background noise because I was always trying to locate him, but I couldn't find him. Look up. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Is it, more, here's your Mortal Kombat 11 tips of the day from Jeremy. Look up. Look up. <laughs> um, I just, speaking of YouTube, just, what up? What's up, Doug? I just can't. I just can't. With these yeah, people. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Um, YouTube is actually uh, in the news again for something really cool. Sony has released a free God of War documentary, and it's uh, two hours long, and it is phenomenal. It's really, really great. It goes through the entire process of making this game and how hard it was, and all the small victories, and even um, even a year and a half into development. They're halfway through development and, uh, well, they spent five years on it, but in actual building it, you know, they, it took like three, uh, three to four years, a year and a half in, they were like, there's no, they spent most of their time building the demo for E3 and they go, okay, cool. Well, we've got this. We have nothing else. And they, they were on the verge of like canceling the game and everything. It was really crazy. So it's really worth the watch. Yeah, I, I, once I finish God of War, I didn't get to play it this weekend because I was out of town. But once I finish it, I definitely want to watch it because you guys have said nothing but amazing things about the game. So yeah, the game is... I have been putting it in my priority. I just haven't. So you didn't watch it. 
No, I didn't watch this yet. I mean, they, you did, I mean, you didn't play. Uh, no, God I didn't play this weekend. Your, that was your homework. You well, had all it? week. No, I didn't. You had Monday night through Thursday night to play. And I didn't. I had things to do every single night. Oh, that is a lie. You just talked about earlier in the pre-show about how Thursday night we got a whole bunch of people together to play Cards Against Humanity and golf with friends. That sounds. That sounds. Did you play a recording of my voice? <laughs> I did. And listen, you could have been playing God of War instead. <laughs> yeah, but then I would have been ignoring the community. No, listen. Community nights is on Saturday nights, not Thursday nights. Oh, so... thank you, fucking, for the clarification. <laughs> Quick con. It's something I'm going to. Nice. But it's also something that is coming to Europe. They just announced it first time ever. The annual gaming event that happens in Dallas will be expanded overseas. It's only going to be a two nighter. You know, uh, here in the U.S., it's from July 25th to the 28th. And uh, QuickCon Europe is going to be running from the 26th to the 27th. I don't know if they're going to have a a land party there but it's they're definitely going to put on a show and the attendance will be free so that's know. awesome Especially for, cool. that's for having it for free yeah that's they amazing do, that's um, a good way to pull people in that first year they do some amazing stuff here at at dallas um you know every year they pull their e3 displays and they put them on uh, put them up for people to look at and to take pictures with here in dallas and um you know, they do the tournaments. They have this whole room uh, for you to go and shop in and uh, check out all their latest games and projects and stuff. And then they have the LAN room and uh, then they have panels and giveaways and all this fun stuff for people. And I had, you know, it was my first experience last year. I had a phenomenal time. I'm going back this year. Um, and uh, yeah, so it should be it should be good. I'm looking forward to they're releasing the same day on the 25th. Uh, they're releasing the new uh, Wolfenstein game and so it's a co-op game and me and my buddy are going to play through that at QuakeCon. Nice. I want to play that so bad. I love me some Wolfenstein. I just hope he gets a better headset by then. Fuck, it was so bad. <laughs> that was a really cheap headset that just kept breaking and I'm like, dude you make so much money. You're so rich. Can you please just buy a $100 headset? The Steel Series has been perfect. Just buy it, man. Well, these work just fine, and I usually don't talk on the microphone. No! Are you playing with Kermit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss Piggy wouldn't let me buy another headset. Why are there so many problems with my headset? <laughs> Once. There you go. On the other side of the spectrum of headsets. <laughs> Starbreeze is uh they're in trouble guys. Who? Starbreeze uh, Who? you know st Payday. Starbreeze. Oh. The guys were Payday and the Rick and Morty game. No, not Rick and Morty. Uh the Riddick games. Yeah, the Chronicles of Riddick. Uh oh. they also did the first oh. Darkness game too. Mm -hmm. They those were phenomenal games. That's they right. are uh they're in trouble. They don't think that they're going to have enough money to last 12 more months. And even uh, an updated version of this story came out that says Rockstar purchased uh, some of their um, IPs and a part of the studio. Oh. So, well, yeah, they, um, they're in trouble. So they're selling off a whole bunch of stuff uh, to try to make it. They've also sold back the rights to some of the games that they were working on, the licenses. Um, you know, the main one being System Shock 3. Ah. So bummer that sucks bad times bad times oh man i didn't realize okay so there was overkills the walking dead which i guess was being developed by them as well <clears throat> and they lost the license to it this is in february the team's walking dead game was effectively canceled despite having already launched on steam mm -hmm. skybound entertainment canceled the contract as it did not meet the standards expected Damn. fuck I saw people when it came out and stuff. I was uh, about a week, a month or two after it was on Steam. I remember looking at it like, oh, I remember seeing this at E3. This looked really cool. And then like the reviews were like, Man, they won't fucking support this game. They need there's fixes that need to be made, and and they're not they're not doing anything. Nothing has been updated or changed or patched or anything. And it was like, oh, that's not good. Oh, but now I know why. 
Mm-hmm. That sucks. It sucks hard. Yeah. Uh, in in more happy news, <laughs> Minecraft can be played in your browser, the original Minecraft, for free. Wow. Yeah. Good on you, Minecraft. Minecraft. Good on you. Celebrating ten years. Oh man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. And it's been ten years already. Uh, you only get thirty-two blocks to work with. Um, most of them are dyed wool, but hey, still cool that you can do it. Technology. Mm-hmm. And uh, last story of the night before we head off into the. <laughs> so I was reading some more of that article. It's just like there's no monsters, but. Uh, who can deal with that when you're having to deal with the original bugs to contend with anyways? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Thanks for the free stuff, dunk! <laughs> uh, and you can't say what you're working on, so that's also fun. That's yeah, bullshit. Hey, it's a step in the right direction, guys. Right? What know. direction? For who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. For- the Minecraft community, you know, they're going strong, and they've been they've been dying for this because Minecraft is very powerful. It doesn't run on a lot of systems, so to be able to put it in the browser, it's a feat that should be celebrated. Mm. Happy ten years, Minecraft. <laughs> yep, happy ten years. Ha- happy Happy New Year. Maybe one day we'll get a graphics card that can render uh, more than thirty-two blocks. Damn. But happy, only in the opera happy, browser. Happy 10 year, Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was, waiting. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to see how long this takes Doug to fucking crack. Yeah. <laughs> Halo uh, will support, sorry, Halo the Master Chief Collection will support cross-platform progression between PC and PS uh, Xbox One. Nice. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice if you didn't have to buy it twice, but, you know. All right. Do you have to buy it twice? That's what they were saying. Mm. That it's going to be a separate purchase, especially if you buy it through Steam. Ooh. Oh, yeah. But if you buy it through the Microsoft Store, why would you not get it on both like you get everything else on yeah, both? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that would be. You know what I'm saying, uh, thank you, Last Byron, for subscribing eight months in a row. You deserve a cookie. Go make yourself one. He said, Swiggity Swooty, I'm coming for that booty. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> Talking to you, Jer. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. Come on in. The water's Come warm. On in. <laughs> oh, what? what? <laughs> I keep it lathered. Yeah. Sounds like these. Anyways, and Halo. <laughs> Go buy it today. It's uh, it's available for... No, it's not. Never mind. Uh, coming soon. You'll buy it later. Yeah, yeah they haven't a... given it a date. They'll probably hear something about it in E3. Yeah, E3. It'll be like, next week. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you talking about next available week? Available now. Yeah, available yeah, I just say, yeah, now. Check your store. On Epic Games. <laughs> it's <laughs> Epic Game Steve. Store. Because so. fuck you, Steve. Yeah. Um, Pay up. Yes. All right, that's the show. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I know that I didn't. I did. Damn. <laughs> I saved it. I saved it, guys. Don't worry. There's no um, saving that one. I loved it. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Hmm. All right, until next week. I'm the Jer Dizzle. I'm the D Reezy. I am the K-Dub. Until next time, lots of love hugs and all that bullshit.